In this demonstration, you will see how to create DHCP network access protection policies, configure DHCP enforcement on the DHCP server, and use the network access protection client management snap in to enable EC. We're going to go to administrative tools. We're going to open up the network policy server. From the network policy server, we're going to make sure that we have NPS selected over here on local and we can see that we can configure the network access protection clicking here. So this is going to open up the configure network access protection wizard and the first screen we come to is the network connection method and we're setting up a DHCP network access protection and so we can see it automatically comes up with a policy name here if we want to know what the additional requirements are to use NAP, we can click additional requirements here and we can see that it will open up a help menu and from the help menu we can see that we have to have things like DHCP deployed and we already have it installed on this local machine. We can go to administrative tools and see that DHCP is installed here and it's running. We'll click next. <coughs> and it comes to the specify network access protection enforcement service running servers running DHCP so it wants to know if we have a local computer running DHCP or a remote computer with DHCP if you have a remote computer running DHCP you have to add it right here otherwise it assumes that it's running locally on your machine I'll click next because it's on the local machine now we have to specify the DHCP scopes that will use this network access protection policy. In my case, it's called Woodgrove Bank. Click OK. Click Next. Now it wants to know what groups of users or machines are going to be granted or denied access. If you select, if you don't select any groups or users, the policy is going to apply to all users. So in this case, we're going to apply to all users. Click Next. Now we have an option to include a remediation group. So a remediation is uh, a server group is a group of servers which store software updates for your network access pr protection clients that need them. And we've set one up here called Remedial. And you can also put in a URL and this URL will provide instructions to your users on how to bring their computers into compliance with the network access protection policy. In my case, I haven't set that up yet, but you can plug in the URL right there. Click Next. Now we're going to be defining the network access protection health policy. We can see that by default, the Windows Security Health Validator is being used, and it's enabling auto remediation of client computers. So this is going to allow the client computers to be set into the re uh, remediation network and be able to obtain updates from the remediation servers. Now if you have clients on your network which are not network access protection eligible or they're not able to uh, be a client, we can control how they're going to be affected. And in this case, we're setting the policy to say deny full network access to network access protection client computers. And now we have the finalization screen. And on the finalization screen, we can see what we've configured for this network. And we can click Finish to End.